Sports betting is a lucrative industry, especially during March Madness. The American Gaming Association found that commercial sports betting generated a record seven and a half billion dollars last year. Lucky gamblers aren't the only ones winning, though. So are scammers. CBS 8's Abby Black is working for you to help you keep from getting duped. There's lots of buzz around San Diego State's Sweet 16 appearance this Friday, but before you make any bets, we're working for you to make sure that if you have any money on the line, you don't lose to scammers. March Madness is big business for sports betting. I found there's a lot of money to win and lose. The American Gaming Association reports Americans will bet $15.5 billion on the NCAA tournament. And if you lose, it may not be because your team fell off the bracket. You may have wagered a bet with a scammer. It's a pretty aggressive market. I think fraudsters work harder at frauding than the actual real jobs. David Pertles with Chargeback 911, a company that specializes in transaction disputes and warns of phishing, fake ticket and gambling websites, and apps that offer risk-free deals, introductory bonuses, and discounts. They'll actually create fake websites that look very legitimate. Uh, apps are a little bit easier to create and maintain with a smaller team. It's a long fraudulent journey. If you've lost and unknowingly placed your bet with a scammer, they'll wait to see if you place another bet. Same goes for if you win. Then when you win, uh, that's even uh, more of an opportunity for them to take advantage of you to try to collect that additional information to, you know, validate your bank account, things like that, um, and then get more money from you. I spoke to the Pacific Southwest Better Business Bureau on how to spot these scams so you don't lose big. Read all of the fine print. Research the sports book before signing up. Check reviews and the Better Business Bureau site for complaints. Um, if we do have complaints, you just want to make sure you read through those complaints to make sure that the business is responding in an adequate manner. Also, the sportsbook's licensing and regulation information should be clearly stated on their website. It should also offer secure banking options. And the BBB says avoid clicking on pop-up ads. I would be wary of those. Anything that pops up on the side of your, your browser, your website, just go ahead and close it out. When in doubt, place your bets on being cautious so you don't get conned out of losing more money than a busted bracket. When there's an opportunity for revenue, uh, acceptance. There's also an opportunity for fraud. Working for you, I'm Abby Black, CBS 8.